On last week, we talked about what happens when you take a trip to the potter's house and allow the master to begin a work in you on the wheel. We talked about sometimes you need to separate yourself from all of the noise so you can hear God for yourself. And many times we wait for someone else to tell us what thus saith the Lord. But remember, the veil of the temple was rent when Jesus rose. So you can access God for yourself. He'll talk to you. We're just not in a place where we can hear him talking. So he said, get up and go. You don't have to make a noise. You don't have to cause a commotion. Just get up and go. When Jeremiah got to the potter's house, he saw the potter bringing forth a work on the wheel. We discussed the process of turning simple clay into a work of art. But this wasn't a regular vessel. The vessel was marred, disfigured, cracked, broken, torn, distorted, scarred, flawed, blemished. And doesn't that sound like many of us mentally, emotionally, and spiritually? Our perceptions have been distorted. Our resolve has been cracked. Our hearts are broken and torn. Our thinking is flawed. Our past is blemished. We're disfigured from cracked relationships. We're distorted from flawed family structures. We're torn between what our hearts want and what our mind is telling us isn't beneficial for our lives. We're marred and that's why we need to tell God to make us over again. We need to be made over. We need our thinking reshaped, our lives remolded. We need a complete makeover. That's why someone can take a shot at a former sitting president and risk their own life because we need to be made over. That's why young men and young women are unaliving each other because we need to be made over. Mothers unaliving children, children unaliving parents, we need to be made over, but from the inside out. You see, we spend so much time trying to make over the outside. Women flocking to get BBLs and Lipo 360 to perfect their bodies and appear more aesthetically pleasing. Veneers to perfect their smile. But when do we take out the time to work on our interior, the condition of our heart, the way we think which dictates how we move? When do we spend the time working on our inside so we can glow on the inside the way we try to glow on the out? Because we've lost our love for ourselves. Uh huh. Our love for self is based on what others say love should be. Because if you really loved yourself, baby, you'd place your hand on your hip and let your backbone slip and shout it from the rooftop. But instead, we masquerade through life with a mask on, a mask of what we want people to see and think about us, and not who we truly are, because many of us don't like who we really are. So we need to be made over. Jeremiah 18 and four says, so he made it another vessel, as it seemed good for him to make it. That's why we need to stop allowing others to be our validation. They didn't make you. If you have a problem with the Rolex, you don't go to a Timex to repair it. You have to talk to the creator of the Rolex. So why are we listening to people who didn't have a hand in creating us? Why are we allowing individuals who didn't design us to devalue us? We need to tell God, make us over again. And then we need to sit and allow him to do it. We need our eyes made over so we can have a God's eye view of our situations. We need our ears made over so we can hear the direction God is trying to give us. We need our lips made over so when we open our mouth we're speaking life and not death. We need our hands made over so everything we touch can prosper. We need our feet made over so that everywhere the sole of our feet can tread, God can give it unto us so that we don't keep walking into situations that don't benefit us. We need our mind made over so the thoughts we think of ourselves are of peace and not of evil to bring us to an expected end. 
It's not enough for God to think these thoughts of us if we're not thinking these thoughts of ourselves. We need our mind made over. And then we need our heart to be made over so we can stop loving what's wrong in an effort to be right. We give our hearts out so callously and out of the heart flows the issues of life. That's why we have to be made over because we have to get out of our feelings. We're so emotional. We lead with our hearts and the Bible says the heart is deceitfully wicked above all things. Who can know it? We don't allow our heart to heal before we allow it to lead us into another situation that will be detrimental to us because we just want to be loved. But until you truly understand God's love, how will you know how you should be loved? So we have scattered pieces of our hearts everywhere. Johnny got a piece and Susan got a piece. The streets got a piece. And you're wondering why you can't fully love yourself because your heart has been marred. When are you going to place it in the hands of God and say, it's me, O oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer? When are you going to take those broken pieces and place them in the hands of God and say, make me over again? Make me over so I can love right because what I'm choosing to love don't love me back. Make me over again so I can think right because what I'm choosing to think isn't benefiting me. Teach me to think on things that are lovely and of a good report. Get my thinking right. Teach me to speak empowerment and encouragement and not harm to get my speech right. Make me over again so I can walk with my head held high because once he makes you over and you can stand before God, Baby, you can stand before anyone. The Bible says that God seeketh a worshiper, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. You got to be honest with God about who and where you are. If you're broken, God, it's me. I'm broken. I need you to fix me. From head to toe, make me over again. See, a lot of us have a problem with being honest. And if you can't be honest, you can't be delivered. You can't go to a doctor with a sickness but refuse to tell the doctor about the sickness and expect to get a breakthrough when are you going to get honest about the condition of your life and tell god make me over again because he's waiting to take the shattered pieces of your life and put them together again as he sees fit he's waiting to create a new vessel out of the broken pieces of your life but first you have to tell God, make me over again. So no matter where you are, I encourage you to close your eyes and tell God, it's me, O oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. And I need to be made over. Let God finish the work that he started in you so that he can make you a vessel fit for his use. There's a world waiting on the gift that God has placed on the inside of you. The world is waiting. God is waiting. Are you ready?